What's up guys, Exotic Gaming here, back with another Pixel Gun 3D weapon review. Today's review is on a really interesting backup weapon named the Dead Star, definitely one of the cooler sounding weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. Now, before you start spamming the comments section with, update your game, Exotic, please realize this is a pre-recorded video on June 11th, 2016, and the day that I am recording this, the update has not yet been released for iOS devices. So with that being said, make sure to leave a like if you guys do enjoy this video, and let's get right into the review. Going into the shop menu and looking at the stats of this weapon here, we can see that this weapon has a 24 efficiency, an 83 firing rate, an 8 capacity, and a 120 mobility. Those are not that bad of stats considering this weapon isn't one of the most expensive and most powerful weapons in the backup section. For the placement that it has in the backup section, this is a very good weapon and I've had a lot of fun so far when using it. The one thing that I do have to note is this weapon does have a small area damage as you guys can see right here and this is a weapon which doesn't have the fastest firing rate in the world. So. This is a weapon for people that have a relatively decent accuracy in the game. You're going to need to be able to hit a majority of your shots on enemy players if you do want to get good gameplay with this weapon, and if you do not have a very good accuracy and the only get weapons that you seem to get decent gameplay with are weapons like the laser minigun and the automatic peacemaker, this may not be that great of a weapon for you. Needless to say, I'm going to go jump into this Coliseum match here right now, guys. This is one of the better maps for this weapon. This weapon does perform best in close range, and I'll show you guys some gameplay with the Dead Star. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is one of the weapons which I think personally sounds a lot cooler than a majority of the other weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. I think out of the names really soft has given their weapons, this is a really cool sounding weapon. It just sounds like it would be really powerful, like Dead Star. Definitely sounds like this would be a ferocious weapon and a weapon that you definitely shouldn't run into if you see an enemy player having it. Now, this weapon, I have to say, is a very good looking weapon. If you guys can see it here in the backup section, it's one of the better looking weapons currently, in my personal opinion, in Pixel Gun 3D. Out of the weapons in the backup section, it is certainly one of the best ones, in my personal opinion, in terms of looks. And in terms of gameplay, it is not far behind some of the most powerful weapons in the backup section. Like I said, this weapon does not have the fastest firing rate in the world, so you are going to need to have a decent accuracy when using this weapon. Thank god this weapon does have an actual area damage. If this weapon did not have an area damage, it would be nowhere near as powerful as it is right now. But it does have an area damage, and that means you don't have to directly hit the enemy players to take them out. As you guys can see, it is a much more convenient thing to have with this weapon, and it turns out to be one of the best backup weapons because it does have that area damage. I really like this weapon so far guys and in maps like Colosseum that you guys can see right here you can get some really good gameplay. Obviously not as good as some of the other area damage in Pixel Gun 3D like the solar power cannon that that guy has right there but it still is a fantastic area damage weapon for a backup section weapon. Now, this is not probably going to be one of those weapons in Pixel Gun 3D where you are going to be using it the entire length of a match. It's probably not one of those weapons that are made for that. Rather, this is one of those weapons in Pixel Gun 3D where you will use this only at necessary times. If you're using a weapon like the Solar Power Cannon and you run out of ammo with that Solar Power Cannon, or you have to reload and you don't have time to reload, you think somebody else is going to kill you before you have a chance to fully reload your weapon, that is where you whip out the Dead Star and you can finish off the job with this weapon. It performs pretty well if you do use it just singly, but it doesn't really perform as well as if you used it in that other aspect. So this is definitely where the term backup comes into play. This is a perfect example of a weapon which does the job as a backup weapon. It's a backup area damage weapon for the people that are using another area damage weapon and just need to get that little extra bump up to get that kill. It's a really fun weapon to use though guys and when I do use it just by itself I really get some pretty decent gameplay with it honestly better than a lot of the other weapons that are in the premium section of Pixel Gun 3D but not the absolute best so that is the key thing with this weapon. I really like it though guys and honestly out of the backup weapons currently right now in Pixel Gun 3D it's not my absolute most favorite. My most favorite would probably have to be the Dual Hawks but it still is a fantastic weapon and it does its job. This is a weapon which will not perform very well at medium to long range. You can get those kills in Paradise Resort, and that's important. You can actually get the kills, but 
don't expect winning any matches when using this weapon. And don't expect to win every single time when using this weapon if you are using it the entire length of a match. Because I do have to say this, if you are in a map like Silent School, maybe not so much in Colosseum because you die an insane amount of times in Colosseum, but in a map where it's in Silent School where, where it is close range and you may be able to survive a decent amount of time, you will run out of ammo with this weapon. So one very important thing when using this weapon is you always have to make sure to pick up all of the possible ammo out there so you can maximize the time when using this weapon. If you do not pick up any of the ammo that people drop when you kill them, then you will be in store for the fact that this weapon will end up running out of ammo pretty commonly when using it. It's, even though it does have a relatively slow firing rate, you will find that you're going to probably have to waste all five shots that you do have in your clip trying to take an enemy player out, and that is just kind of the way things work when using this weapon. This weapon is actually pretty good at taking out turrets, I've found. It's one of the better weapons for taking them out. I mean, as you guys can see, they're not really having that much of a problem doing so, and it is definitely one of those better weapons in that aspect. So honestly, guys, I mean, I've, I've not been too far into this video, but I think I've honestly covered a majority of the things that I want to say about the Dead Star. Now, if I could rate this weapon out of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this weapon, uh, out of the backup weapons, I'd probably give this weapon around a 6 to a 7. Um, some of the other backup weapons, like the Dual Hawks, I'd probably give a 10, considering that weapon is as powerful, if not more powerful, than a lot of the other primary and uh, melee and other types of weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. But there's a perfect example of a monster kill, which is something you can get when using this weapon in Colosseum. It's great that you can actually get that with this weapon, but you have to be very careful and reload at the proper times. Since you only get five shots with this weapon, you're gonna find that you're gonna reload a lot of times when using it. So try to reload only when necessary. You're gonna have to reload after killing every single person practically, so try to get into a secluded area and not try to go against multiple different people at the same time because you really can only use one clip per person that you encounter. Just thought I'd let that know to a lot of people because I do see a lot of people using the Dead Star in a map like Silent School running into the hallway with the weapon and in truth that main hallway there in the map is really not a great place to use this weapon in because as you guys can see it does have a relatively long reloading time and you will most likely die when using that in the uh, hallway. So just keep that in mind guys. This is a map, this is a weapon where in a map like Silent School it's better to go inside those areas like the bathrooms where people are spawned in and stuff like that and that way you can actually seclude yourself reload hide out while you are reloading and then jump back into the hallway kill a couple of people and then go back and reload in a safe secluded area so this weapon does have a little bit of a different technique when using it. it's a lot different than a lot of the other area damage weapons in pixel gun 3d where they have like seven eight shots before you finally have to reload and it takes like two shots to kill somebody so it's a little bit different in that aspect. This weapon is around a four shot kill to a fully armored player in Pixel Gun 3D, which isn't that bad. It does have a faster firing rate than some of the other weapons that are area damage in Pixel Gun 3D. So I do think Really Soft was good at making it a four shot kill. If it was something like a two shot kill, it would turn out to be one of the most overpowered weapons probably in Pixel Gun 3D. So thankfully they didn't actually do that. But as you guys can see, you can get a pretty decent amount of kills in a three minute match in Colosseum if you do have a lot of people in it. Colosseum is one of the better maps for this weapon, so if you do have this weapon, keep this thing in Colosseum, and probably the second best map for this weapon would be Pool Party. A map where you can use this weapon and not die a lot would probably be something like Block Mart. I would recommend Block Mart for this weapon just because in that map, even though it is pretty close range at times, you can seclude yourself in those specific areas like I said when you're in Silent School. It's just like that with Block Block Mart, but even more so. So that's a great map for this weapon, and the best thing is, this weapon does look like it would fit well for Block Mart. The Block Mart is the Halloween-themed map, and this honestly seems like this could be more of a Halloween-themed weapon itself in Pixel Gun 3D. It's like a Star Wars-type creepy space themed and you know you could have this like maybe as a halloween themed weapon and it might work out pretty well for that aspect of things but yeah guys i don't really have much else i need to say about this weapon if i was to say that this is a die hard weapon that you need to get i would be lying you don't really need to have this weapon to get the best gameplay ever in pixel gun 3d you can do without this weapon and be perfectly fine in those matches but 
It is a weapon that I would recommend if you do have the coins and gems available for it. It's not that bad. I really like it. I have a lot of fun when using it, a lot more than a lot of the other backup weapons and area damage weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. And the best thing is, when using this weapon, I don't feel overpowered. There are a lot of area damage weapons in Pixel Gun 3D, like the Solar Power Cannon, like the Big Buddy, where I don't really like to use them that much just because in those, when I use those weapons, I just feel like I'm so overpowered and it's just so easy to take those people out. I mean, as you guys can see, it's certainly not extremely easy to take these people out, especially when a majority of the people that I'm encountering in this server do have their own area damage weapons themselves. It's pretty difficult to compete against people who have the Solar Power Cannon when using this weapon, so if you do go into a match and everybody else has weapons like the Solar Power Cannon, um, your best bet is to probably leave that match and then go find a different one. Because as you guys can see now that everybody is using the Solar Power Cannon, it is pretty difficult to actually get the people because, well, the Solar Power Cannon is going to be that one-shot kill weapon and this one is going to be four shots. So it's very difficult to actually win against those people, but I can tell you guys this. If you do kill the people when using this weapon and they have the Solar Power Cannon weapon themselves, I can say it is a very rewarding kill and something that you're gonna wanna keep coming back for more when using this weapon. It's a great weapon, guys, and I have a lot of fun when using it. And that is honestly pretty much it for this review. So not a necessary weapon, but definitely something that's fun and something I could say you should get if you do want to have just some fun gameplay with a backup weapon that's a lot more different than a majority of the other backup weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to just say a, uh, like an extended outro just so you guys can see the full amount of time of gameplay with this weapon. If you guys did enjoy this review, then make sure to hit that like button. Like I said at the beginning of the video, yes, I know the most recent update has come out for the most recent uh, the, the, the devices in Pixel Gun 3D. The day that I am recording this, it's probably already come out for iOS devices as well. But, not, not, not the day that I'm recording this, the day that I'm posting this. Sorry, I'm already screwing up with the commentary. But uh, the day that I'm recording this... June 10th, 2000, or June 11th, 2016, this has not actually come out yet, the update, so this update that has released the Dead Star is the most recent update for this game. And I do plan on reviewing the most recent weapons that are released into the game when I do get back from my trip. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do it like the second it's probably going to be released for iOS devices just because I will be away most likely the time that the update is released. But the second I will get back, I will definitely review all of the weapons that are introduced. I don't know how many are actually going to be introduced. And if there aren't too many, I will review those weapons and then I will go back to the weapons that were in this update that I have not yet finished reviewing because there are quite a few weapons that are in this update the update that released the dead star and the turbo pistols and weapons like that that i have not yet reviewed but i do plan on reviewing very very soon so with that being said guys make sure to go check out all of my other weapon reviews i've posted on my channel if you guys want to see a review on some of the other weapons in this most recent update weapons like the trapper weapons like all of these weapons here if i can go list out some of the weapons that i got in this most recent update if you want to see a review on the laser bow i did that if you want to see a review on the loud piggy i did that the toy bomber i did that the fireball spell i did that have not yet done the other spells but i will do those ones soon laser bouncer you name it i have probably done it aside from a couple of other ones that i have not yet reviewed but i do plan on doing them soon like i said i do have a ton of freaking weapon reviews that i have to do still and i hope to get those soon i'm kind of a little annoyed because they release so many weapons and it's uh it's kind of hard to keep track with that but hey new weapons are always good i like having new weapons in the game and um yeah, that's pretty much it, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, like I said before, if you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to comment down below which weapons you guys would like to see me review. Obviously, probably everybody's going to comment whatever weapon is released in this most recent update to the game, so I will surely review that when it is um, released. And uh, make sure to go comment down below any other things that you guys would like to see me do in Pixel Gun 3D. Any random series, anything at all, I will do it if it seems like a pretty decent thing to do for video. And uh, that's pretty much it, so I'm gonna go actually wait until the end of this match here. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near winning this match. I'm being absolutely obliterated by everybody else using grenades, solar power cannons, big buddies, you name it, they, they have it. <laughs> and um, let's go just finish up this match here and see how many kills I got. So I got, what, 
eight kills, so I still get up there pretty close to the top three position, and uh, yeah, that's just kind of what you get when using this weapon. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.